We'd like to share with you a couple of local government uh, uh, workflows that benefit from ArcGIS infused with AI. Let's take an example of automatically detecting swimming pools in a county so we can recommend updates to the tax assessment role. Highlighted in blue here are residential parcels that are being assessed for having a pool. But as you can see, some of the parcels with pools are missing. The data is outdated. So can we use deep learning and solve this problem? Sure we can. Let me show you how. The first thing that deep learning needs is labeled data, training samples to learn from. I'm going to use the NAEP layer from the Living Atlas that has an infrared band and allows us to train a more accurate model. It's easy to label a few sample pools. And I'm going to use this included geoprocessing tool to export training samples from those labeled pools. This is what those samples look like. Now we are ready to train our model. And I'll do that in Jupyter Notebook, where I've imported the ArcGIS API for Python, and we are integrating it with deep learning libraries like PyTorch and FastAI. We'll use the training samples you just saw and train an object detection model. And looking at the results, see how beautifully the model has figured out where the pools are in these image chips. Now we are ready to deploy it, find all pools in the city. And that's where you see the true power of combining ArcGIS with AI. Now since I'm only interested in finding pools in residential areas, I'll bring in the zoning layer. And here's the code to deploy the model, find all pools in the city. But it isn't just about finding where the pools are. We need to join them with the parcels. The analysis tools in ArcGIS Online let me do just that. Let's look at the results and see how we are getting near perfect results, detections of all of these swimming pools. And the ones highlighted in red are the parcels that are not on the assessment roll. Now, I've done it for the entire city. This is what it looks like. We can take this data and generate a report of which parcels need to be then field verified. Another use of deep learning is for mosquito control agencies to find where the neglected pools are. Let's have a look at a few of them. Let's give it a moment. Let me try going to the other browser where I have this. Now we see how some of these could be breeding grounds for mosquitoes and insects. This one, for instance, is, is in a foreclosed property. And city government agencies can use this information and uh, do mosquito abatement. That's how you take deep learning from the notebook and out into the field and solve real world problems. Thank you. And over to you, Chris. Thanks, Rohit. Not everyone is a data scientist or programmer, so we've also embedded AI in tools included with ArcGIS. Today, I'd like to show you how to classify blight in the city of New Orleans. Blighted properties have overgrown yards, boarded windows, and graffiti. Thousands of street-level photos have been captured covering every property in the city. How do we classify this ever-growing collection of photos? This can be an arduous task. Now, using AI and the new property condition survey, we can solve this problem. To start, I've identified a neighborhood in New Orleans that has not been classified. Next, I'll select categories of blight to classify. And since I don't have an AI framework, I'll use my Microsoft Custom Vision service by logging in with my Azure credentials. Out-of-the-box training photos are included for graffiti, boarded windows, and overgrown yards. In the background, the tools are training a blight model in Azure, classifying the images, and then returning the results to a layer that I can use in ArcGIS. The result shows properties that may need further inspection. Looking at a specific property, 
I can see the overall blight probability score in property photo, more effectively prioritizing neighborhoods that may need field assessments. Together, ArcGIS and AI can be used to solve difficult problems, like understanding a variety of neighborhood conditions. The best part, instead of taking hundreds of hours, I just classified 600 properties in under a minute for less than a dollar. Thank you.